Greetings and welcome back. As you can see from the title, I am going to be reviewing Maybelline's Matte Plus Poreless Fit Me Foundation for normal to oily skin. And I also picked up the powder. Um, as you guys probably know, the original Fit Me formula is very popular. A lot of people like it, but those people also have dry skin. So um, I've always been kind of sad at the fact that I couldn't use it because I had oily skin and it just didn't work for me. But a lot of people like it. My mom liked it, I have some friends that like it, and in the YouTube social network world, a lot of people are big fans of the original formula. So when I seen they came out with a formula for oily skin gals like myself, I kind of did a little backflip. And so I was really excited about it. Powder I picked up Porcelain 110, which I will say right now, I do wish I would've went a shade um, one shade darker because it does make me look a little ghost like but I contour and I kind of bring life back into my face so it's not a big deal now the color and the foundation is my perfect match it is natural ivory 112 now the foundation um, it says that it mattifies and refines pores matches natural skin tone natural seamless finish I do feel like it lives up to all of those things. It really does give you a poreless look. And I have a lot of pores. I have oily skin, it mattifies my skin, and it just, it looks beautiful. If you have oily skin, try it out. You can pick it up at your local drugstore. It's good stuff. I'm definitely impressed with this formula. Um, I honestly don't even have anything to compare it to. Um, I don't have any foundation like it. So it's it's really, really great. Um, I have used it for about a week and I do notice that it's not long wearing. After about three to four hours, you do need um, you do need to blot a little bit. So that's not a big deal though because the way it makes my skin look, I am okay with it not being super long wearing. Um, so yeah. Big fan of the foundation. Uh, it's at the drugstore, like I said, super affordable. I think I paid like eight bucks for this. I do like the powder, I just don't like the color that I got. I am gonna show a demo so you can see what, just exactly how it covers and what it looks like on the skin. Like always, I give my foundations a good shake and then I apply the product to the back of my hand and I'm using Real Techniques Stippling Brush and I love this brush, by the way. Um, and I'm just going to buff this into the skin. I would say it is a medium coverage. Um, and I also want to apologize for the lighting real quick because I tried using natural lighting so you guys can get the best visual and see how the foundation looks in, in natural lighting. And it just didn't work out because it just washed me out. So I do apologize that the lighting is a little bright. Um, but I love this foundation. And it's really, really easy to buff into the skin. And it covered everything, y'all. I didn't even need concealer. And then I just set it with the Fit Me powder and my Sigma powder brush. And I was looking extra matte. And I had no pores. It does what it says. Lives up to the claims. So I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5 stars. I have no complaints about it. So I went on to contour and all that jazz. And here's a little bit better lighting. You can see, super matte. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.